Today, gamers across the globe can once again step into the boots of everyone's favorite assassin, the enigmatic Agent 47. Unlike the franchise reboot title in 2016, Hitman 2 does not follow an episodic release format as it's now a fully fledged experience right from the get go. The game picks up right where the previous installment left off, but this time it's more personal. Agent 47, with the help of his handler Diana, takes a deep delve into his past and shadowy organizations to uncover the truth of Agent 47's past. The hunt for the elusive shadow clients is on and throughout the story it was clear that Agent 47 will never be the same again after his latest outing. I suggest you cause distraction 47 and make it a loud one. As with every other Hitman game before it in the franchise, Hitman 2 is bloody, brutal and oh so fun to play. The game maintains the dark humour and some fantastic writing across all six missions, most of which boast massive maps. These maps became our playgrounds as we dumped body after body into trash cans, closets and just about any other open space available. If you're familiar to the Hitman release in 2016, then the gameplay needs no introduction and in essence it's just more of the same but in new playgrounds. The most important part about the gameplay is the freedom it provides players and how the environment reacts to your actions. Everything you can do has consequences or opens up new paths to your targets. Hitman 2 delivers the most open-ended gameplay in the series to date and that in itself is saying something. From Miami to India, a town deep in the jungles of Colombia and even a suburban area which Hitman Blood Money fans will love, the game's areas continue to impress us the more we explored new avenues of eliminating a target. We love trying to blend into a crowd and using the world as our weapon, from dropping an object onto a target's head at a construction site to pointing poisoning a target with his favorite fast food. Martinez is down. However, the moments we enjoyed the most was when our plans went haywire and the game allowed us to improvise because there's nothing better than finishing a mission and getting out of dodge in a mascot costume. All the maps and missions boast various ways to eliminate your targets and some of them are more difficult than others. At one stage we had to impersonate a shaman and get rid of evil spirits at a construction site to lure a target in. In another mission we sabotaged a race car by impersonating a pit crew member. Not once did it feel like one mission was just a copy paste of another and there's just something so unique about seeing the inhabitants of a map react to you in different ways depending on who you are disguised as and what you've done. Although the general gameplay was fantastic, the sniper assassin mode delivers a great break from the formula as you settle into your perch and take down targets from afar. At the moment, there's only one map available for this mode, but this will change in the upcoming expansion packs. Even with just one map though, it was a great experience taking down targets, attending a wedding and learning about all the intricate details of sniping. Eliminating targets gives you XP, and the better your kills, the better the reward will be. As you level up in the mode, you unlock new sniper rifles and upgrades, and it kind of feels like a miniature RPG built right into Hitman 2, and that's just another great reason to keep playing. Hitman 2 at times feels like a more polished iteration of the 2016 reboot. The amazing stealth gameplay, brutal kills, player freedom and breathtaking maps are all there. Hitman fans will love it and even if you're new to the Hitman franchise, we still highly recommend Agent 47's latest killer outing. There are still some kinks to work out and a few bugs here and there as sometimes characters spot you that really shouldn't while at other times an event causes characters to stop mid-sentence breaking the immersion. The game is also relatively short and should take you about 7 hours to complete the story missions for the first time. Owners of the 2016 Hitman get access to the Legacy Pack, which allows you to play remastered and enhanced versions of the maps. Combine this with elusive targets, player created contracts and a leaderboard for each level you can make your mark in, the package becomes robust. Then we have the Sniper Assassin game mode, which you can either play in co-op or single player with Agent 47 himself. Even with some small flaws and a couple of frame rate drops on the PS4 Pro, Hitman 2 is one of, if not the best assassin games we have ever played. With tons of freedom and new playability, excellent gameplay that allows the player creativity to flow, and an abundance of ways to kill your targets. Hitman 2 shines in every aspect we wanted it to, and for that we give Agent 47's latest outing a solid 8.7 out of 10.